Welcome back to the Big Fat Quiz of Everything. The next round is all about people. People are amazing. So much so that I've asked Geppetto to turn me into one. <laughs> Gwyneth Paltrow's lifestyle website, Goop, recommended women steam clean their vaginas. No wonder Chris Martin left her. He was trying to use that kettle to make a cup of tea. <laughs> OK, time for some more big, fat questions. OK, they're all about people this time. For the first one, it's over to Basil Brush. Hello, 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 Mr Jimmy. <laughs> Basil Brush here. Now, I'm known for being a sophisticated gentleman about town, but it's another classy gent I want to talk about. James Bond actor. Pierce Brosnan, was widely reported to be banned from doing something during his tenure in the iconic role. Can your teams tell me what it was? <laughs> boom, boom, everybody! <laughs> <laughs> OK, so you'd be able to work this out. So What's Piers the question? Brosnan, Brosnan was not allowed He to... wasn't allowed to do a very specific thing the whole time he played Bond. Acting. Oh, I... <laughs> <laughs> Um, OK, you ready for okay. some big, fat answers? Basil Brush wanted to know what Piers Brosnan was not allowed to do while he was Bond. What did you put? Drink gin, we thought. Drink gin? Because it's... he has to drink vodka the whole time. OK, I, I, it's, it's, it's a pretty good, uh, pretty good answer. That's a no, though, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> what, what did you put, David Frank? We didn't know. I thought he might not be allowed to have a tattoo because he has to appear sort of naked-ish. It's, it's another good yeah. answer. It's a very good thought. It's not right. Uh, Catherine, big nasty? Smoke. We thought perhaps he wasn't allowed to go to casinos. Oh, God, that is... I mean, I'm tempted to give you that. He wasn't allowed to wear tuxedos in other films. Oh. Why are you oh. tempted to give me that? <laughs> <laughs> casinos... Casinos kind of felt like it was kind of a, along because those kind of lines. Just you wear tuxedos to a casino, the people in my town don't even put pants on. <laughs> Susan Boyle released her fourth album this year, Standing Ovation, the greatest love songs from the stage. But what ill-judged Twitter hashtag were fans encouraged to use to promote the record? It's such a lovely noise when everyone is it. I, I remember it. <laughs> and for our final question, it's over to none other than Cheryl Cole. Hi, everyone. Now, back in January, Beyoncé gave birth, but I was wondering if any of you could tell me what her and GZ named their first baby daughter. Yeah. OK. Yeah. Hello. Oh, yeah, ah, there's my man. Thank you so much. Sorry. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's a long show, Jimmy, so we ordered some food. Is that OK? Just <laughs> What do you mean you ordered food? We ordered food in. How did you order? What do you mean you, you ordered food? Think about yeah. your fellow contestants. We ordered some food. No, cos you, you mocked our suits. <laughs> you, you actually ordered food in? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, God. It's a long <laughs> That is the best piece of planning if I've anyone, ever seen. If anyone tunes in and sees this, they're going to think Downton Abbey's gone very down market. <laughs> That's really not fair. It looks so good. Yeah, you're not even sharing. Do you know what you need to do? No. Get over it. Classic <laughs> 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 oh, Gordon. OK. Uh, John Snow reported on one of the biggest songs of the year. Did anyone work out what it was? Carly Ray Jepson, call me maybe. Okay, did you, Russell, Jonathan? We got the same. Okay, and we Richard, got you Gabby. Baby. <laughs> call me baby, maybe. Call me baby, yeah. yeah never and you got. You came into my life. I miss you so bad. So bad so it's like a couple of fucking lords have rocked up to people. <laughs> <laughs> we saw Vanilla Ice describe something he was involved with in the 90s. What did you all think it was? Swinging. Swinging, yeah. <laughs> you let his missus back somewhere else. He let his missus bang someone else. Yeah. And he was then talking about it in an interview yeah. with us. I used to be a swinger. Yeah. <laughs> no. Fill an hour. What have you put? Yeah. Anal with Roseanne Barr. <laughs> <laughs> it just felt like a sex scandal. Yeah. Felt like something dirty. And what, what, you're so very close. I think you guys might have it. Dara, Claudia? Uh, he was in some way featured in the book that Madonna brought out called Sex, which is just pictures of Madonna. With her gooter out, as we say in German. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, what? With her German butler? <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a common Irish term. <laughs> well, I think you're right. It's Madonna's sex book. He was involved yeah. in that. I knew it was sex. Yeah. There it is. I'm there. sorry. There she is there saying, I'll teach you how to fuck. And then a photo of her doing it wrong. <laughs> Still popping that nipple out to this day. <laughs> I just love that nipple. 
<laughs> I'm so proud of you. <laughs> when do you want to come out again? When shall I show you again? In a gig in Holland, maybe in Holland. I haven't seen Holland. <laughs> I'd like to meet Britney Spears. <laughs> Will you kiss Britney? Kiss Britney. <laughs> I'd like to meet Lady Gaga. Does she have one, she have one, one naughty breath and then one of my breaths going, don't kiss Britney, don't. <laughs> You'll go to hell! You You'll go, go to hell! This is wrong! This is wrong! Do it! Do it! Do it! Mummy, don't put the pointy one on again. We don't like it. Be quiet. <laughs> John Paul! Too roomy! <laughs> One of the biggest memes on Twitter this year was BDE. All I want to know is what those initials stand for. Oh, I know that. BDE? What the hell? Come on, you're 40 <laughs> years younger than me. <laughs> <laughs> BDE, like, best day ever. Mm. <laughs> yes, I think, I think it probably would be. <laughs> uh, I asked you what the initials BDE no, stood for. Down. What do you put? Woo! <laughs> Continue. <laughs> <laughs> I is this bad with all the electricals? <laughs> is it bad with the electricals? Yes, yeah, no, I wouldn't no. pour too much Bucks Fizz on the electricals. <laughs> <laughs> Claudia Mo, what did you put? Uh, BDE Big Dick Energy. <laughs> uh, that is the, the right answer. Richard, no, what have you, what have you put? Big Dick Energy. I, I put dong first because I find the term dick very offensive. <laughs> I put, I put ick above dong. <laughs> you know, I've never heard of this. It'll be a good name for like an energy supply, though, innit? <laughs> <laughs> it's not like instead of. Yeah, because they've got yeah. a bad reputation. Are your, are your bills over, overdue then? <laughs> That's right. Big dick energy. <laughs> I think it seems like someone that doesn't actually have a big dick. But they just have the energy of someone that has a big dick. You don't want anyone with big dick energy. You want somebody with, uh, with gratitude, with a miniature penis. <laughs> with, with, with small dick enthusiasm. You mean... <laughs> you, you like it. Yeah, that's exactly right. All right. Sean, James, you got something? Yeah. Good, One OK. Minute. Yeah. No. OK, it's a tradition on the Big Fat Quiz of the Year for the children of Mitchell Brook Primary School in Neasden to produce one of their unusual school plays for us. What I want you to do is have a look at this, tell me what they're reenacting. I don't like you anymore. Good, give me all your money, Dan. I told you she was horrible, Daddy! What the? Why do you need the money for? Helicopters and horses and, oh yeah, charity. <laughs> you are a naughty fibber! <laughs> you silly, only I have money for you. They were shit. If I was their drama teacher, I'd be absolutely ashamed. <laughs> I'd throw myself in the canal. It's one of the worst acting I've ever seen. <laughs> really bad. <laughs> Boo! <laughs> Boo! <laughs> Boo is right. <laughs> We've actually turned this into a fucking panto. <laughs> them a story they can handle. This obviously story's got too much grit in it and they don't know how to do it properly. Give them something about a pony and a wolf or something like that that they know where they are. But do you know That's what? They'll have taken this and they'll, they'll be allowed to watch it the next day. The whole class are going to watch class. it. Little kids. Yeah. They're, they're, they're all <laughs> shattered by that guy. Hopefully they'll keep this in and these kids will see this and none of them will grow up and try and be an actor because you're not actors. <laughs> you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> If you're watching, yeah, kids, it hurts. Merry Christmas, baby you Jesus. Can't yeah. <laughs> handle the truth. Okay, what news story were they reenacting? Some people liked it. I liked it. I thought it was fine. It was Just sweet. Fucking disgrace it was. <laughs> well, okay, next question. Nothing worse. In March. Kids fucking try to act. It's the worst thing. <laughs> 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 oh, stop. Nobody ever said my acting was any good. After one school play, I got hit in the face with a broom. <laughs> by a nun. And I came off, and the nun just went, that was shit! <laughs> she hit me in the face. Oh, God! For 
sorry, you have brought up some stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Quiz of the year. This round is all about the year's television. Kylie Minogue replaced Jesse J on The Voice. The Voice's USP is that the judges don't see you when you're auditioning. And then, in a weird twist, after you've won it, the public don't see you either. <laughs> Peter Capaldi became the new Doctor Who. I watched the whole series, and to be honest, it was just nice to see an old Scottish man in a phone box who wasn't urinating. <laughs> I'll take that. <laughs> <laughs> we invented the phone, so we're entitled to use the phone box for <laughs> whatever reason we see fit. <laughs> if you invent something, Jimmy, you can piss on it. <laughs> That's the rules. Look at James Dyson. <laughs> Chris Packham criticised Anton Deck for allowing the killing of creepy crawlies on I'm a Celebrity and said they were misunderstood. Of course they were misunderstood. They're both Geordies. <laughs> You said shitloads of cones on the road. I think that's near enough cone hotline. You'll get a point. No points for you, Jonathan Joe. Finally, we saw the children of Goldsmiths Community Hall performing an unusual school play. What event were they acting out? It was hard not to get this one. It's Dolly the Sheep being cloned, wasn't it? Yeah, there was a and huge story of the Cloning the was a big story back then, which was, and it was in the 90s it first took hold, and that's when Rod Stewart learned that he could just clone his previous wives and keep marrying a new version. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course, that's the positive side of cloning. The negative effects, Jedwood. <laughs> But I, th I thought it was a bit weird to clone a sheep because they all look the same anyway, so you could have like, got one from the field and gone, look, they're the same. I think, I think that was their plan B, had things not gone brilliantly, they went... <laughs> Did you get this, Lee? Do you remember oh. Dolly the sheep? Uh, I remember, I went out with her. <laughs> <laughs> OK, uh, uh, Bob, uh, Richard. Yeah, yeah, we got Dolly the sheep. Yeah. That's right, this is a new era of fact. <laughs> fact four. The only actual difference between... <laughs> Between the, the dolly and the and the sheep was do, the original dolly was a, from Northumberland, yeah, and it used to so it was it used to go bah, and like the um, it was cloned in Sheffield, so it was bah. <laughs> 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 well, that is true. Animals no, do have regional accents. Yeah, they do. That is true. They have regional accents. Dogs have accents. Yeah. They do. They that's seriously that's do. Surely, surely that's bullshit. No. <laughs> you, you tell you tell that to a Liverpudlian duck on your own head. You? Okay. So the question is... What separates Charlie Sheen? You, now, I think the question was, no. can you name um, one attribute that separates Charlie Sheen from us mere mortals, right? Yes. So I could correctly answer no and get the point. <laughs> well, well, you're applauding someone being very weaselly. <laughs> yes, you, yes, you could, but it's not in the spirit of this game. All right. <laughs> And we said he can make a hamburger shape out of his willy. Ooh! <laughs> because if you... You know, like, when I was playing with yours and I sort of folded it? <laughs> and then yeah. we pretended it was a hamburger yes. and I just... Oh, mm, 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 mm. I don't recall... <laughs> Maybe it was a dream. My, my daughter, David's her favourite author, and now I've got a show of that because she wants to see me on TV. <laughs> doing that Is it thing? inconsistent with writing it. children's books? <laughs> <laughs> But yes, you can do that. You can make all kinds of amazing shapes. I mean, it's hard with yours because it's tiny, but... <laughs> <laughs> if you've got a, a normal-sized one, you can make lots of things, hamburgers, etc. Cocktail burger. <laughs> so, are we talking about well, ways well, you can <laughs> mutilate your penis? <laughs> It's not <laughs> penis manipulation, it seems to be penis manipulation. Yes, it's, oh, penis. Right. it's yeah, puppetry yeah. of the penis. Puppetry of the penis. Yeah, puppetry of the penis. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, right. 